This video is to explain my painting materials, my favourite things. Um, my favourite paper at the moment is Saunders at 140 um, pounds, which is the weight of the paper. Not is the surface and it's high white. It's a relatively new paper to the Saunders Waterford collection, but it's very forgiving and takes um, all styles quite nicely. Right, the next most important thing are brushes. Number three, Sable Mop. Um, this is a Rosemary & Co. Uh, quite expensive but worth saving up for. And the next range I like which is um, half acrylic and half sable, a little bit more affordable. This one is a number 12. Um, then I use a number 10. And if I have to, a number 8. The next vital bit of kit in the brush line is a number three rigger. This is an acrylic rigger and it's quite a nice spring, that's important. And this is the finest one which is a 3-0 rigger. The other essential bit of kit is an old piece of rag to go take off excess paint, excess water, basically used as a comfort blanket really. The water pot um, is a double barrelled, um, but you could just use two jam jars. Um, ostensibly, oh, this is quite dirty. One is for dirty water and one should be kept clean. The palette is um, a folding which folds to close when you're not using it so it keeps your tube paint moist. I'll just turn that around so you can read it. And this one is um, a, um, a herring Dorchester. Sorry, just do that. This one is a herring Dorchester, and I squeeze my tubes directly into this. The other odd little piece of kit, um, uh, which again is a relatively new discovery, um, it's Winsor Newton Calligraphy Ink, 30ml bottle. It's a white acrylic ink, and it dries to a nice white finish. Great for whiskers, um, and that highlight that you've missed out. I find this works better for me. Um, than masking fluid. The other essential little bit of kit before we get to the colours is a spray bottle um, either for spraying, um, spraying your colours and dampening them down when they've gone a little bit too hard, um, spraying your water on to, directly onto paint to disperse it or even wetting the paper. Um, it's just a seat, cheap simple spray bottle. Right, the other little bit of essential thing is the colours. Again, my favourite colours. And these are all artist quality tubes, again, which I squirt into this. So the first one is a real in, which is a nice, cool yellow. These are all Winsor Newton. This one is a new Gamboge. It's a warmer yellow. Then we have Cobalt Turquoise Light. I stress light because they do two cobalt turquoises um, and the first one um, is quite darker than this but the light one has a life all of its own. Quite opaque that one. Right, this one is, um, yes I've just forgotten for a minute, what is it? Cobalt Violet, quite hard to read these silver tubes. Cobalt Violet, again a nice cool colour, makes lovely greys and is an opaque colour. Next one is Opera Rose. And this one is very transparent and quite cool. Opera Rose, we're still in the Winsor Newton range. Cobalt Blue, everybody's favourite. Uh, Winsor Newton, mid-tone. Transparent and granulates and warm in tone um, is Winsor & Newton's Ultramarine Blue. Just the ordinary Ultramarine Blue, no shades of, just straight, old-fashioned, Ultramarine Blue. Burnt Sienna and at the last in this range Burnt Umber. Moving to a different brand this one is a, um, artist quality again um, Holbein. This one is Horizon Blue. You could use Cerulean Blue if in the Winsor & Newton range much the same but I quite like this one it's slightly more opaque and slightly more creamy in texture. Quinacridone Magenta, same range, Holbein. Lavender, again Holbein, scrummy colour that. And last but not least is a Rembrandt colour, 
uh, which is from the Talons range, and this is Viridian. Beautiful transparent Viridian, this one, of beautiful colour. And that is all my materials. The rest of it, I'm afraid, is just practice and have fun.